To drive forward the energy transition, huge wind turbines are needed at sea to harvest the powerful sea winds and supply green electricity to the mainland. By mid-2022, 27 offshore wind farms were fully operational in Germany. Another is currently being built in the Baltic Sea, 28 kilometers north of the island of Rügen. And with that, blustery greetings. Not from the Baltic coast, but here from Eingen. We're standing in front of the second example of the new LR12500-1.0. The first such machine is currently handling enormous monopiles for offshore wind turbines in Rostock's industrial port. These foundation pillars are almost 90 meters long, 9 meters thick and weigh 1,360 tons. The new large crane is being supported on this job by its little brother, the LR1800-1.0. These monopiles are manufactured less than 500 meters from the handling station. 50 turbines will be built on the monopiles, which will produce electricity for 475,000 households at the Baltic Eagle offshore wind farm from the end of 2024. These are impressive figures, just as impressive as the new LR12500-1.0. The crane, with its 7.5 meter wide high performance boom, immediately caught the eye of the Belgian group of companies. They were impressed by the LR12500-1.0's completely new transport solutions, such as the folding mechanism on the lattice type sections and the split slewing platform. The crane has fewer transport units and is therefore also quicker to set up. With its completely redesigned structure, the crawler crane completed its first lifts without any problems. The wide lattice boom demonstrated its excellent stability as it transferred the forces to the slewing platform. It is enormously strong despite its lower dead weight. The crane, whose hook block alone weighs 70 tons, was erected in Rostock within three weeks. To protect the subsoil, the crane now stands on a plateau over one meter high. On a thick layer of sand, Bongasi timbers and load distribution plates form the base for the massive crawler carriers. The entirely new transport and assembly solution for the lattice boom components is not the only reason why this modern crawler crane's driver is so happy. The perfect lighting and the many cameras provide valuable support for the crane drivers. The numerous ladders and platforms enable us to work and set up easily and safely. By a customer feedback, we've also learned that the ergonomics of the new crane have been very well received, as have the incredible rigidity and stability of the boom. Although the first LR12500-1.0 in Rostock has already lowered a whole series of monopiles into the water, a few more of the large monopiles still need to be moved before the electricity can flow at the end of 2024. What an enormous project our customer Sarens is handling here. In this, as in every other operation involving our cranes, safety has top priority. Jan Walter can tell us more about that now. He's a group leader in design and development. Hello Jan. Hi Martin. Jan, briefly explain how our new Catch Bar Plus ensures even greater safety when assembling folding jibs. Sure, we're standing in front of the new LRT L30-2.1, which is equipped with the Catch Bar Plus. This can also be used to prevent the folding jib from falling down in case of operating errors. If, for example, during assembly of the folding jib, it is separated before it has been bolted to the boom, it could fall down. That's where the existing catch bar will intervene. If this faulty operation is not recognized and the assembly process continues, it could fall down completely. And how can that be prevented? This is where the new Catch Bar Plus comes into play. We did two things. Firstly, we optimized the Catch Bar with additional end stops and secondly, we constructed a second Catch Bar. This is attached at the rear to the folding jib with a hook and to the transport bracket with a pin. Now, if the folding jib is pulled further, both catch bars will intervene and prevent it from falling. But there are probably many potential operating errors which, if they occurred, could result in an accident with the folding jib, right? Yes, that's why we built a test stand to investigate all these different scenarios. Of course, the test stand also allows these tests to be carried out safely. 
Is the entire range of telescopic cranes now equipped with the new Catch Bar Plus system? Yes, we have changed them all over. This means that we now comply with the new EN 13000 standard, which will soon come into force and requires increased safety for folding jib assemblies. By the way, since the new Catch Bar Plus jibs look very similar to the previous ones, we've clearly labeled them with abbreviated names on adhesive labels. Yam, thank you for these insights. And after this short detour here to Eingen, we're heading back to the far north, this time to the Netherlands. The government here has set out its own climate agreement under which all heating systems in the country will be switched from natural gas to sustainable energy sources by 2050, such as district heating or electric heat pumps, a step toward the climate neutral status that the EU requires by 2050. To meet these requirements, an expansion of the country's district heating network is necessary. Twelve of our mobile cranes are helping with this. They've lifted a thousand meter long district heating pipeline in Delft in order to bend it so it can be drilled into the earth at a specific angle. We are here in Delft in the Netherlands. We are drilling a bore here for the heating network. In this step, the pipeline is being drilled into the ground. Preparations for the Warmtelink project have been underway for three years. This pipeline is being created as part of the energy transition. Here, residual heat released from the waste incineration plant in the port of Rotterdam is used to heat water. This will be piped to the control centre in The Hague. The pipeline hanging from the cranes here is one kilometer long, has an outer diameter of 90 centimeters and weighs 500 kilograms per meter. In total, this section weighs 500 tons. This morning at 4 a.m. we first set up two very large telescopic mobile cranes on the viaduct above the motorway. After that we pulled the pipeline 50 to 60 meters in the direction of Riesig. Then we lifted the drill line to bring it level with the entry point on the ground and formed it into an arch. The length of the retractable arch is 275 meters. Each of these cranes lifts 18 tons, which is why we need cranes with a capacity of 90 to 140 tons here. On the other side, on the motorway, we have used one 300-ton and one 400-ton crane due to the radius over the motorway. The pipeline must be drilled into the earth at a certain angle. It must be bent to this angle before being inserted. To get the exact curvature, we shape the bend with 10 cranes so that the pipeline can be drilled into the ground with the same curvature. Behind us, we can see the first steel and steel bore that enters the ground at the Teres von Sion road and eventually resurfaces in Delft one kilometer away. We're drilling under the De Castagna watercourse at a depth of 25 to 30 meters. In the run-up to a job like this, thorough preparation is necessary. We create our work plans using AutoCAD and the Liepair Licon crane planner to determine the required capacity of the cranes. Our company prefers to work with Liepair cranes because they are reliable machines and Liepair provides good customer service. That's the main reason why we prefer using Liepair cranes. They are high quality machines. As we've learned, the impressive crane operation in Delft required careful planning. Of course, the Liebherr Likon crane planner was also a big help in this context. The Likon work planner and the ultra-modern Liebherr crane planner 2.0 have also been available for many years. But when it comes to finding the optimum crane with the appropriate configuration quickly and yet reliably, you don't need a job planning tool at all. The Liebherr Crane Finder is perfectly adequate. This tool is available free of charge on my Liebherr and is very intuitive to use. You'll see your results in seconds. And things get even more convenient if you combine the Crane Finder with another simple tool a laser rangefinder that fits in any pocket and costs very little. You can then determine the ideal crane for your job in three simple steps. 
1. Measure the distances, such as the lifting height and radius. 2. Enter these values together with the load to be lifted into the crane finder. 3. Then sit back and let the system do the rest. A list of crane types with the appropriate equipment for the job will appear. For the crane operator on site, this has two further advantages. The crane finder is optimized for smartphones and tablets, and it even displays the setup code for the Lick-On control system as well as the optimal telescoping path. By the way, once the customer has registered their company and machines on MyLeapHair, the crane finder will prioritize this fleet in its search results. With that tip, I'll say goodbye for now. And in the fourth part of our video magazine, I look forward to taking you to a particularly tricky lift in the marina in Palma de Mallorca. Until then, all the best.